Good morning to all of you this morning. I am very happy to be standing here in Redeemer Sunday School one more time. I know we can't be together physically, but spiritually we are together. Um, before we go into your word, before we go into the word this morning, um, I would like to let us say a little prayer. Almighty and ever living God, we come right now just to say thank you. Thank you, dear God, for blessing seen and unseen. Thank you for all the things that you have given to us and provided for us. Thank you for how you're taking care of us through this pandemic, dear God. We just thank you for blessings. We thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. And dear God, as we go into your word, give us clarity. Give us understanding of your word, dear God, that we may plant it in our heart and it may grow and bear much fruit, dear God. And Lord, if you do these things for us, we'll be so careful to give you all the honor, all the praise, and all the glory. And it's in your son Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Our lesson this morning, August. Sixteenth, living faith, and our lesson is taken from James, the second chapter, verse fourteen through twenty-six. And our lesson reads as follow: What does it profit, a, my brethren, though a man say he has faith and has not work? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them depart in peace be ye warm and full and not withstanding ye give them not the things that they are needful of to the body what does it profit even so faith if it has not work is dead being alone yet a man say though they Though they have faith and have not works, show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, thou does well. The devil also believe and tremble. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without work is dead? Was Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son up upon the altar, seeing thou how faith worked with his work, and by works was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled which said that Abraham believed God and was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messenger and had sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without work is dead also. Our key verse for this morning is, as the body without faith is dead, so faith without work is dead also. In our lesson this morning, some say that James and Paul contradict each other by what they say about faith. One said, faith, will not, faith alone will not save you. And some, one said, work alone will not save you. But in, the, in scriptures in Matthew, it does say that our works we are justified by our works. And in Revelation, it says in a vision that John saw, he saw the dead and small and the great stand before God. And the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of these things which were written in these books according to their works. And the, the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and hell, death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to thy works. So if we listen to what John is saying, it sounds like only our works is going to save us. But our works will not save us if we don't have faith with it. Faith and work go hand in hand together. You can't have one without the other. And you can't have one without the other 
but if you if you have works works alone cannot save you and faith alone cannot save you in our text this morning we have saving faith this kinds of this is the kind of faith that will save you and it says what does it profit you my brother though a man have faith and have not works can work can faith save him we all have faith in something but it is that the living faith the scripture said that faith without work is dead when when we have true faith when we have living faith our action shows our action put our work faith and works together if we say we have faith and we do nothing with it it's dead faith but if we have faith and we do good deeds our our deeds and our faith works together and that's our work and that's our work and it gives an example here if someone comes to you and say that they're na naked and comes to you and they're naked and hungry and need daily food and you send them away you say go away and god bless you and be full and and have a good day you did not give them nothing that they stand in need of but living faith is this you bless them then you give them the thing that they stand in need of that's faith and work together so that's living faith. We also have vain faith in our lesson this morning. And this is demonstrated by our belief. Yes, a man, yes, a man may say, thou hast faith and have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show you my faith with my work. Thou believe it that there is one God, and thou, thou does well. Even the devil believed that there is one God. So a lot of people believe in God, but that's it. They don't do anything else. They don't have any works to follow it up. And the devil believes in God, but he trembles. He's afraid of God. So when we, when we say we believe in God, we are going to do the things that are pleasing in God's sight, and we're gonna, our works will show the good deeds that we did because we do believe in God. And in our lesson this morning, it gives us an example of faith. It, it talks, James is talking about Abraham. Abraham was justified by what he did when he offered up his son Isaac to be sacrificed unto God. Abraham had so much faith in God, he believed that whatever God said was right. If God said, told him to do something, he would do it. Did not question, the Bible didn't say that he questioned God, but God told him to go sacrifice his son Isaac, and he was about to kill his son Isaac because God said to do it. Now that was faith in action. That was an example. He had faith, but the work that he was going to do showed good deed. And it also used the other um, example here in our lesson of faith, Rahab. Rahab was a, a harlot, a prostitute, and she and did something very did peculiar. Something she very hide the she spies, hide the, the spies, Israelite spies, and Israel sent them out another way so that they would not be hurt. Not now, be hurt. She, now she, you know, when we read this and so we say, well, wait, a minute, wait a minute, James, now God is going to use a heartlet to do his work. God used whoever he pleased to do his work. It doesn't mean, God, it doesn't say that all good people are going to have faith and it doesn't say that all bad people don't have faith but people have faith in something and their works will show when they when they when the action is taken rahab hide the spies and sent them out another way but she, and it was it what she did was dangerous for her and her family because she could have gotten killed because of this by doing this but she made them promise that nothing nothing would happen to her family and her whole household was saved because of what she did now she had that was faith in action it says for as the body without the spirit is dead so faith without work is dead also our faith alone will not save us our work alone will not save us but faith and work go hand in hand when you have faith and you do good deeds you do that is your work is and your as work. children of god children of god we should not just say i have faith and do nothing 
and do nothing. I have faith and I'm just going to sit here. And I'm going to give you an example, personal, personal example, example of me, example of dead, me. Faith. dead faith. My faith My was, faith. I asked the Lord for a house and, for a and house. that's all I did. But I had faith that God was going to give me this house. But one time I started saying, well, do I want him to come down here and build it for me? I did nothing. That's all I did. I asked God for the house and that was the end of it. That was faith without action. If I had put it into action by now, the house probably would have been paid for. But that was faith. I, believe, I believed in God. And, and God still might give me that house. But at the time when I asked God for the house, I did nothing. I, I, con, um, I didn't go to see it about anything. I didn't check on the land. I didn't check on um, nobody to build it. So that was faith that was dead. I did nothing about it. But living faith, living faith is faith in action. When you say that you have faith in God, you're not just going to sit down. I always say that anyone that accept the Lord Jesus Christ in their lives. You might not sing, you might not shout, you might not usher, you might not sing on the choir, you might not, but you are going to do something when you say, you, when you accept the Lord in your life. When you, when you say that you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, it's just not a sit down thing, come and sit down, but faith in action. Your action shows your work. Okay, um, okay, um, it says certainly we are saved through faith, not by works. We cannot earn salvation by works, but what type of faith saves? The type that works and professions of faith must be accompanied by action. Otherwise, it is not faith at all. A profession of faith that is unaccompanied by the works God intend we do bring disrupt on our faith. We claim to have. Unless the word is changed, unless the word changes us inside and out, in heart and mind to speak and to act, our faith will be no faith at all. No faith. So don't so think because don't you said, I have faith in God, that you God are saved. Don't think by the works that you do, you are saved. But you, you, your faith have action. When your faith have action, it will go hand in hand. And that's the living faith that James is talking about this morning. James and Paul are not contradicting each other by what they say. They are complimenting each other on what they say. And that's our lesson for this morning.